Welcome to What the Future. On today's show, China's artificial sun will reportedly be finished by the end of this year, a blind robot learns to go upstairs, and lastly, we take a look at drones that can fly indefinitely thanks to wireless in-flight charging. Let's get into it. According to a spokesperson from the China National Nuclear Corporation, China's artificial sun could be completed by the end of this year. Artificial sun is the nickname for China's HL2M tokamak device, designed to mimic the nuclear fusion reactions occurring within stars. The biggest challenge for the HL2M right now is getting its plasma hot, like really flippin' hot. In November of last year, another one of China's fusion reactors reached an ion temperature of 50 million degrees Celsius. The HL2M will eventually need to get its ion temperature up to 100 million degrees Celsius, which is about seven times hotter than the center of the sun. Once the HL2M is up and running, it could provide valuable insight into some of the other fusion projects being developed across the globe. One such project is being built right now in the south of France. It's called ITER, which stands for the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. ITER's website claims it will be the first fusion device to generate more power than is required to heat the plasma and the first to be capable of running for long periods of time. This drone footage of the ITER construction site is from last month and shows the immense scale of the project. If China's own HL2M reactor is finished later this year, as is expected, that would give the international community years to apply the lessons learned from China's artificial sun to the ITER reactor before it fires up its first plasma, which is currently scheduled for 2025. Cassie is a robotic pair of legs that doesn't have any outward-looking sensors, and yet it is able to traverse uneven terrain with ease. Cassie marches along assuming the world is flat and treats uneven terrain as a disturbance in its gait. Because of how it walks, it is able to recover from a variety of disturbances. In this video, Cassie traverses an obstacle forward, backward, and sideways, all under the assumption that the ground it's walking on will be flat. In this video, Cassie walked for nearly an hour over uneven terrain without falling. This is awesome to watch, but Cassie does have its limits, one of which is stairs. To conquer stairs, Cassie had to learn how to plan its footsteps. Instead of marching in place like Cassie used to do, it can now take planned steps. These planned steps help Cassie conquer the stairs in some cases, but what happens when the planned steps are made in error? In this clip, Cassie is told to go up two steps when there is only one. Cassie amazingly keeps its balance despite having improper information. If its planned step isn't properly aimed, Cassie could still take a tumble. Developers say that Cassie will eventually need a pair of outward-looking sensors to know how and when to plan its footsteps. For many two-legged robots, balance seems to be harder than navigation. Cassie's balance is very impressive. I'd guess that once Cassie has a pair of eyes to see what's coming, it'll be running circles around the other bipedal robots. Drones might stay in the air forever thanks to new wireless in-flight charging. This technology was developed by GET, which stands for Global Energy Transmission. The charging station is made up of a circle of wires, which creates an electromagnetic field when turned on. The drone flies through this electromagnetic field, or power cloud, as its developers call it, and special antennas aboard the drone turn that electromagnetic energy into battery power. Eight minutes of charging time translates to about 30 minutes of flight time. The current cost for one wireless power station and two drones is $120,000. If this technology catches on, we could be heading towards a future where drones fly indefinitely, autonomously returning to their power clouds when it's time to recharge. What made you say WTF this week? Let us know down in the comments, and if you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching What the Future. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time.